What's up, YouTube? Um, got my uh, books from CBCS for the Boston Comic Con from way back in, was it July, I guess? And, um, you know what? Let me show you. I disregard all the mess in my room. I'm organizing. But this is all the boxes I got to go through today. So it's going to be a pretty cool one. I can't wait to actually see them. So there are books on one of my new books. I just, if you saw them on my desk, I'll be making a video later for that one. But uh, yeah, so um, I'm just going to start off showing them. I'm going to be grabbing from the top of the stack. Uh, I got nine boxes to go through, and I'll just be pulling them out. I did see the grades for these ahead of time, so uh, I'm not going to be too surprised, but it'll be the first time I see them slabbed. Okay, so it doesn't look like they really have them um, put in any particular order, but this is a. Uh, my Tales of Suspense 52. This is one of them. I have two of them. This was the nicer one, I thought. Um, but I'm probably going to get the other one graded, too. This is a, came back at a 4.0, which I'm happy with. Because I think I only paid like 140 I think it was. I can't remember. So that's a pretty good one. Happy to have that. I might have to buy uh, some more of the CGC boxes or whatever you call it. The, uh, you know, the great account books boxes. Oh, here goes one of my... Okay, here goes a couple of my uh, Walking Dead books I had signed by Tony Moore. Uh, so that's, I just had that slab there. This is the ones I had signed when I was at the Boston Comic Con. Walking Dead number four, signed by Tony Moore, 9.6. I'm very happy with that. This one, I wish it would have been 9.6, but I'm happy to have 9.4 considering I only paid, I think it was like $80 for this or something. And of course, I, I, I kind of figured we'd get a little gray because there's a little bit of a um, smear there and it's like, like a little dirt mark or something. Um, kind of regretting not getting these all pressed, just paying the extra uh, little bit of money and uh, getting them pressed. Just in case, maybe I could have gotten you know, a little bit, uh, even a couple points higher would have been good. Uh, and this is number six. I, uh, 9.6, I'm a Tony Moore, happy with that. You know, I'm fine with 9.6. Of course I would love 9.8, but, you know, my number one is a 9.6, so I'm happy with that. So that's the first box. You want know, I'm gonna put these all back in the box. Uh, so, and then I'll pull them back by box. So I don't, so I don't, you know, just throw them around, they don't fall somewhere and break or whatever. I crack the case. Okay, so that's the They got some good books in here. Be patient. Ooh, yeah. These are the ones I was very happy with. At least this one on top. Uh, I already have this book. I had it signed when that first Comic Con I went to. It was signed, or the second Comic Con I went to. Um, signed by Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder. That one came back at an 8.0, I think it was, but it was pretty messed up. So I went out and got another one. I had it signed by uh, Scott Snyder, and he wrote, oh, I didn't realize he wrote thanks, Scott Snyder, so I didn't realize that when he signed it. 9.8 though, so, so happy with that. I only paid 80 bucks for that, so it was worth it, definitely worth it. Um, then I got, oh, okay, um, when I was there I picked this up, I had never read it, but Jason Latour was there, so I picked it up. Um, from my local store, actually had a little shop set up there. I picked one up from them for like uh, I think they were charging like seven dollars for these, or seven fifty, I think it was. Um, but he did a little sketch. Let me show you up close. And he signed it, and it says mm, "ribs." He did that for everyone. He just the the what he's what the little bubble thing was. It was a little bit different for each person. Um, he had a few different ones he was doing. Okay, <laughs> this is one of my sketch covers, uh, and I love this cover. Um, I'm so happy these came back. That this one came back at 9.8. But here you go. This is one of my favorite things I picked up there. This is Harley Quinn Valentine's Day special. This is done by a uh, sign and sketch by um, Elias Chadzutis. Uh, um, he 
he does um, less work with Xenoscope and stuff. Um, this was a little bit pricey for the sketch, but it was like 175. But uh, it's also signed by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti. So this is Elias. This is Jimmy. This is Amanda. So I got three sigs and a sketch. Um, well, the sig for the sketch. So look at that. I mean, I just want to get close up on this because this is just awesome. You know, um, I just had a sketch done at Harley at the uh, Northeast Comic Con. And the girl who did it, I thought, I was like, you know what, this might be one of the best sketches. I said, it might even be better than Elias's, but I hadn't seen this in a while. But you know what, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Amanda, who, uh, I think the girl's name, no, yeah, it was Amanda. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, this is way better. She's Hers is good, but you know, after looking at this one again, it's, it's so awesome. But yeah, so, there goes the Jimmy's and Amanda's. And a 9.8. I was really hoping it would be a 9.8 for these. I wasn't sure. Um, but yeah. And then the last one. Um, I just like the cover. Uh, Secret Wars number one. Amanda Connor had her sign it. 9.8. So. Um, most of these grades I'm really happy about. There's just one I'm, you know, a little disappointed in. And I read the grader's notes. Um, so there's a lot of stuff on there I didn't even realize. So I'll have to, uh, you know, see if I can find it when I look, when I actually see it. But we'll get to that. Okay, yeah, this is another one. Uh, I just had this one graded. Not, it wasn't signed by anyone. It's just one of the books I wanted to get graded, so I saved on shipping. Um, th instead of shipping it to them, I brought it to the con. This is my Superior Spider-Man, which I am, I am so sad that I didn't save it for the New York Comic Con and have him sign it, uh, Campbell. Uh, cause I had a, a bunch of books signed by him. Came back at 9.8. This is just the, uh, I mean, this is just one of my favorite, actually this, this is my favorite Superior Spider-Man cover, but it's also one of my favorite Campbell covers too. And this book I've seen it sell for at least 150 online. I think that's even raw. So I don't know what a 9.8 would go for. I know it's expensive though. I didn't realize that I just happened to come across it online. And I said, oh, I got that. <laughs> you know, I put it in a box and forgot about it. This is another book I just sent in to get graded. Uh, this is my Superman Adventures first appearance of Livewire, 9.6, which I'm happy with that. Would have been cool to have 9.8, but 9.6 is just fine for me. Oh my God. Well, this is pretty cool. Okay, I'm laughing because of a certain reason. I'll show you. Uh, this is one of my copies of Cry for Dawn number one. And they had gave me a signature series label signed by Joe Linzer, but it's 2006. This is supposed to be a red label because uh, it was authenticated. Um, but they gave me a yellow label, which I'm completely fine with. Uh, so, uh, unless I'm mistaken about why they give you the red labels. But this is the third printing. This is definitely one of my top uh, this, this is you know what this is probably my number one cry for dawn cover uh number five is pretty cool though so but uh i have three of these and this one was signed so i wanted to get it um authenticated i paid i think it was forty dollars or fifty dollars for this um which was a good deal because they're usually about 80 bucks but i used the signature to actually get a uh, price knocked off on it so i got it authenticated it, did, it was authenticated i know that because i i have the paperwork and stuff but they gave me a third uh yellow label which is cool you know hey it's a lot better than the red label i think you know um but yeah just beautiful cover signed right there by joe Linzer. he's also going to be at the big apple comic con which i already bought my ticket for i think that's in march or may something like that and this is the other book I was so happy. There's another Snyder book. Uh, and I got this before I went to the con. Uh, and I got it signed. This is my Batman number one. Signed by Snyder again. 9.8. And this is the uh, Ethan Van Scriver variant. Um, I don't know how much this is worth. Um, I know it's a little bit more than the, the regular cover. So um, I'll have to look it up to see what something like this would be worth. It's, I'm sure it's over $100. So... But yeah, so that's the second box. Or third box, I'm sorry. Okay, let's put these back. You know what? 
I was kind of disappointed when CBCS raised their prices, but I went to the Northeast Comic Con, and it's really only three dollars more a book for a signature series book, um, for at least modern books, you know. Uh, and the only thing that's a little bit sucks a little bit is that the that their shipping prices increased so much. I think it was like thirty-five dollars before paying for some like the shipping I usually do. And that last time I just did I just did what fifteen books at the Northeast Comic Con, and it was fifty-six dollars. I just can't see how they can, you know, say I mean just raise it that much. Cause I had thirty books and my shipping was about that price. And I did fifth half that, and it was still the same price. So it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so more Welcome Dead. My Welcome Dead number five, nine point six, signed by Tony Moore. Awesome. So just so you know, I have the first six books slabbed, all graded, and all signed. First one is signed by uh, number one is actually signed by Kirkman. These are all signed. Two to six is signed by uh, Tony Moore. And just so you know, Tony Moore was charging twenty dollars a book. If you were getting it graded, kind of wish I would have lied to him and just, you know, uh, I would have told the CBCS guy to stand back, you know, hey, step back a little bit. You know, this is the one I was disappointed in, which I really didn't think I was going to get. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I just remember something. Um, I, I guess 8.0 would be a, a, a good thing, but I mean, would be okay. Because I realized I forgot there was some dirt right here. Yeah, I'll show it to you. But still, even 8.0 signed by Tony Moore, I'm happy with number two. But it is my lowest grade one I have graded. Um, it's probably one of my lower graded ones, period. But yeah, and there's also some stick. They said there's sticky stuff on the back, too. Let me see. But I don't see anything. Some kind of substance they said was on the back. But the back looks completely fine to me. There's a little color loss right there. But other than that, I don't see no sticky residue. They said residue. Well, maybe, maybe they said on the front. Maybe that's what it is right there. But yeah, that's the only one I was disappointed in. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm remembering how it looked before I sent it. Oh, let me just leave these up here. I guess I'm putting four in a box. Okay, this one I'm very happy with also. Um, this is Stuff of Legend number two from volume two. This is the Boogeyman edition. Um, and it's signed by, I had it signed by uh, Charles Paul Wilson III, C.P. Wilson III, and it's the 121 out of 150. I actually bought this one off of, uh, I believe it was Comic Hunter, um, so it's just pretty cool. I think I paid him 60 bucks for it, which is awesome. Now, I, I, I want to get the ones from the Volume 1. I think there's a, a variant cover or something like that. There, there's another variant cover, too, I think for number one. Um... I want to get that. That one's a little bit more pricey, though. I've seen it online. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Um, number two, stuff of legend. Supposedly there's some kind of movie or something. We'll see. This one, I was. Uh, I, I just want to grab something to have this guy sign. Uh, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, which um, just grabbing something quick because I wasn't sure if I, if I had any books done by him. And I knew this one was done by him, so I just grabbed it. 8.0, which I'm completely fine with. Signed by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. And I realized afterwards that he did the Joker series. And I have the I have most of the series. I think I'm missing one book out of the series. But they're all near mint condition. My number one is... I would have brought my number ones near mint. I would have had that graded. Uh, it's, it's definitely came back at a way higher grade than this. But I'm happy to have this. Um, I actually brought it with me to the New York Comic Con. But when I was there, he wasn't there. So... Yeah, so that's it for that box. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a long video. I'm about... I got five more boxes to go. But like I said, they're all worth it. Just worth it. These are all cool books, I think. Hopefully you guys agree. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it another 20 minutes, but it shouldn't be longer than 20 minutes. So I know how you guys like are always arguing about short or long videos. <laughs> But, uh, okay, this is cool. Um, I got my Deadpool 34 lenticular, signed by Jerry Dugan. So that's cool. Um, let me see if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that on the video. 
with a sign. I think he signed, yeah, he signed it on the back, which is pretty cool. Um, instead of sign, trying to sign it on the lenticular cover, I forgot he did that. Pretty cool, awesome, love that. It's one of my favorite Deadpool covers. I think he, they did it to lenticular. Um, kind of making fun of, think of uh, the DC stuff. Um, this was awesome. I had to grab this one. This is one of my, uh, I'm not a real big Batgirl collector, but uh, this is, I, I actually picked this one up because I love the cover. Uh, and I had Babs Tar sign it also. Babs Tar put a little heart because she loves me. <laughs> 9.8 though. I'm very happy with a lot uh, with all these 9.8s. So, ooh. okay, I got a red label for this one. Now. This this is what I was expecting for the Joe Windsor one. Um, but I'll show you this one. This one I'm so happy with the grade. This is my first red label, unless you consider the Joe Windsor, which I'm not now. Uh, this is signed. I, I, I had this book for a year. I had it in my box, and I decided to pull it out to, to read it and because I hadn't read it yet. And got this when I first started collecting. When I opened the front page, it's signed by Bernie Wrightson and Len Wine on side. So I had them authenticate the signatures and get a red label, which they did, signed by Bernie Wrightson and Len Wine. So, okay, it's verified signature instead of authentic signature. So I'm very happy, and I was happy to get an 8.5 because I, you know, I wasn't expecting that high, but they, they it does have some little creases there. But 8.5 is awesome. I guess they are a little bit more lenient on some of the older books. This is from the 70s, I think. Yeah, 70s. Uh, and this one I was very happy to get done, uh, and the grade was awesome. <laughs> so uh, this is my Doctor Strange Master of the Mystic Arts solo series. Uh, 9.0 and I had it signed by Frank Bruner there so that is awesome I'm so happy with that I, did, I really wasn't even expecting a 9.0 I mean I, I wasn't sure I knew it was a nice book but happy okay that's it for that box I think I might have to buy some more boxes I think I got one more box left um, right, it takes not even one box. Um, I can do that at my local. Okay, next one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, all my paperwork is in this box. I can even put a piece of cardboard in this one. I guess there's only three in this box. Yeah, there's only three in this box, that's why. Okay, these are just some books I ha actually had. Yeah, these are just books I had graded. I brought with me to have graded. Not signed. This is my Strange Tales 135, 5.0. Happy with that. I, I'm completely fine with that grade. First appearance of Nick Fury. Um, and I had my second one graded too. So now I got two of them. They both came back at 5.0s. <laughs> you know which I think is pretty funny because I wasn't sure which one was the nicer. And I know why. I, that's probably why because they were both the same grade. But I'm happy to have both 5.0 nice mid grade copies. Um, first appearance Nick Fury and then this was a pickup I had gotten right before I went to the con um, and I really wanted to pick one up before I got to the con because I wanted to get it graded and I'm completely fine with the grade. Uh, Brave and the Bold 54, 3.5, first appearance in Origin and Teen Titans um, and Batman Flash and Aquaman cameo. So pretty cool. Um, I'm very happy to finally have this book. You know, I tried getting this book for a long time, and I'm happy to have it now. So, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking that was a Nick Cardi cover. It's not. Some from Pramini or something like that. Oh, I'm just going to let you guys know. I picked up a huge, like, number one. Uh, an older number one. I like to talk to Jimmy C. And, uh, he knows about it. A couple other people know about it from YouTube that I talk to offline here, you know. Uh, but oh, this one I'm very happy with agree because I didn't think it was going to get this high. Um, so I thought it was a little messed up. But this is, uh, I, I thought some like there was some kind of color lost there. I guess that's part of the, uh, actually, yeah, it's all part of the actual book. Um, but this is uh, my Inhumans. Number, Inhuman number 12. I just love, I, I don't buy this series at all, but when I saw the uh, cover, I think actually 
I think it was. Um, thank God my, my local had one more copy of it. So I had Phil Noto sign it, um, which I'm very happy with. Okay, here goes one of my sketch covers again. I had another sketch cover done. And you know what? I think this came out really, really well. Um, I'm so happy with it. This is a Spider Gwen. And I had a uh, sketch by Annie Wu, who did, uh, who does a. Uh, oh my god. The Black, you know, Black Canary? I can't remember what series she does. I, I buy it. They have Black Canary. Um, which I had her do the Spider Gwen cover with Spider Gwen. And also I had. Uh, Jason Latour signed and did another little spidey sketch there or whatever so that is just awesome she didn't charge me much I can't remember what and when she first started she was telling me oh she don't she don't Tony does black and grays um I was like eh. but then when it came out I saw it's so awesome so yeah happy with that um some of the real big books aren't haven't come up yet uh, with a lot of signatures I mean this is a Starfire number one. This is the variant cover, the Lupacino, Lupacino, Retailer Incentive. It's uh, signed by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti. Just love the cover. I actually bu I bought a, I stopped buying the series, but I bought all the variant covers and stuff. Cause I, I know I really like Starfire, but I don't, I don't know why I stopped buying the actual books. I should go back and buy the back series. Now, you know, I showed you the sketch earlier by um, Elias. Chad Zudis, whatever it is, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Well, that was an awesome one, but I th think this one actually might might be my, uh, I might like this one a little bit better. This is the second sketch I had done by him. Um, I had one done on Saturday and I had one done on Sunday because I liked the first one so much. This is uh, Harley Quinn. This is from the Invade Comic Con San Diego, New York, uh, San Diego Comic Con book. Um, and it's another book done by Ch uh, Chad. Uh, and it's also signed by a lot more people um, Since there was a lot more people that worked on this that were there. So let me give you a little close-up Look at that. I, it's I know I, I really want to get something else by him done. He's just it's just so expensive But I don't know. I kind of think it's worth it I've seen some of his books like this sketch done selling for six to eight hundred dollars So I'm sure I can probably get quite a bit of money for these I think but it's also signed by now not only a sketch but it's signed by Amanda Connor, Jimmy again. And it's also signed by Safane Rue. Safane Rue. Um, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Dave and Dave Johnson. So um this is Stefan Rue. Amanda Amanda Connor. And of course Elias. Um Jimmy Palmiotti. And then and, and then I guess I think that's Dave Johnson. Yeah, it looks like that's Dave Johnson right there. So pretty cool. Kind of looks like a little weird. Looks like an M. But oh well. That, but it is him signed it. So that's uh, my also one of my favorite books I got done there. The two by him done. Uh, that I had done by him are just awesome. They're going to be the highlights of my uh, collection. So I'm really into the, the sketch covers now, guys. So. And unfortunately, it's, they're, they're, they're a little bit, it's, it's, it's an expensive hobby now, with the sketches at cons, what I think is worth it. Um, you know, some, some place people will do you know, some more, some more paperwork in this one. Oh, okay, now here's some of the books that have a lot of people signing. Um, yeah. Okay, a lot of Harley Quinn stuff. This is uh, Harley Quinn Zero, 9.8. It's signed by Amanda Connor, of course, Jimmy Palmiotti, Stephane Rue, Dave Johnson, and Dan Panosian, which he did right there. So that's a lot of books signed. Um, wish I could have had all the guys here sign it, but oh well, I'm not going to buy That's it. I'm not cracking this case or anything. 9.8. So happy with that. Awesome, though. Okay, yeah, I'm way over 20 minutes now, 25 minutes. Um, here goes another one. This is another zero. This is the Baron cover, the Rue Retailer, um, which is signed by all the same people again. Um, Manna Connor, Jimmy, uh, Stephane, Dave, and Dan. So, and yeah, a lot of Harley Quinn, all Harley Quinn in this one. This is a different one though. This is Harley Quinn Power Girl, number one. This is the uh, Stephane Rue. 
Stefan Rue, Stefan, I think I, that's how you say it. Stefan Rue, Jimmy, Amanda. And I love that cover, so happy with that. That's still all the books in that one. Number three in that one. It was kind of cool. I actually got the boxes again this time. You know, these little these uh, CGC, uh, CBCS boxes. And then last time I didn't get them. So I think it is the number of books you order. <laughs> you get, oh, last box, guys. No last box. I, don't, I, don't, I can't even think what they are. Okay. Yeah, it's another sketch on the top here. Okay. I think the uh, some of the best ones are already done. This one, you know, I'm... <laughs> You know, this is Babs Tar. She charged forty dollars, and it was just a quick sketch. I literally stood there when she did it. You know, I don't know forty dollars for this book is really worth it, but um, this is the uh, blank cover for Harley Quinn Zero. I had all the same people sign it, including Babs Tar, who did the sketch. So, um, but I'm happy she did a little backer on there, he did, uh, which is pretty cool just to have a sketch by her. Um, I can understand why she did a quick one because she was uh, really swamped. A lot of people. We're seeing, trying to get her signature. Oh, I do have a little sketch too into this. But this is a uh, oh, Annie Wu. This is the uh, uh, Black Canary Tula La Toy Reseller into, uh, rese Retailer Incentive. Signed by Annie Wu. And I'll tell you a little story about this. I thought they had it listed online and everything that Babs Tar did this book. The cover on this so i brought it to her and she's like uh i didn't do this book i'm like why did i say and she goes oh i was supposed to do the cover but um it got changed and she ended up doing cover number two but uh, yeah so i looked like a little ass but you know it was wasn't my fault you know it, she was supposed to do that cover so but yeah that's cool to have done that one. and last two books guys i'll see you one this is uh, Archie, uh, Afterlife of Archie number one. Um, this is the, uh, uh, the the lingerie cover that I guess did a little, got a little att attention when it first came out, I guess. But um, it's signed by Andrew Papoy um, right here. Should have had him done it in gold or something, but at least you can see it. Uh, 9.6, happy with that. And the last book. Which I love this cover. I was really surprised. I paid I think twenty five dollars for this sketch. Um, and it's by you guys probably won't know who it is. Maybe some people will. But uh, I just had them done do it because I like the book they were putting out. I'll show it. Deadpool Secret Secret Wars number one blank cover. And the sketch is done by a guy named Peter Parker. You know, you guys can see how it's spelled. Um, and look at that. I told you I can make make those Julian fries. Cutting his hand up. The guy does a... He's one of the guys who does a book called... Um, Self-published book called uh, Escape from Jesus Island, which I really like the book. I mean, they only came up like three or four of them so far. But uh, yeah, I had him do a sketch. And it came out awesome. Like I said, like 25 bucks cheap. But that's it, guys. Um, that's all the books I got. It, I thought it was going to be feel like a lot more, but it didn't seem like that many, but it is a lot of books. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. See you guys later. Bye.